Just a quick note, I know you guys are going to be running out of grip here shortly if you haven't already. And since we don't see each other regularly in person anymore, um, I figured I would do a short video on what I've been using. Um, some of the products you can get on Amazon, some of the stuff is what we make at home. So if sweat is the issue you have on the pole, if you have sweaty palms, if your knee pits get sweaty, if your elbow pits get sweaty, um, if sweat is the issue, our original go-to was dry hands. You cannot find that anymore, and if you do find it, it's super expensive. Have no idea if the company went out of business or if the guy just stopped making it. I don't know. So once that became hard to get a hold of, x -Pole came out with their formula, X-Dry, and that does the same thing. It even looks just about the same. It is, however, stronger, so you need half as much. You do not need a lot of it um, to keep the sweat off the pole. And now that most of us are at home, you can't get to your studio to buy the X-Dry. Um, another alternative that I just started trying was Hammer Grip. That is more like a liquid chalk that is extremely strong you need a dab to equal either one of the other two products both the x dry and the hammer grip can be found on amazon but i'm sure you can probably order both of those directly from the manufacturer as well if not being sticky enough and and the pole feeling too slick is your issue our original go-to used to be the heel-to-toe foot sloughing lotion from Sally Beauty Supply. However, they changed the formula, so now if you try to use it, it no longer creates a stick, it creates a slippery, sloppy mess. We were then forced to find a homemade solution. So with that, I found a couple different recipes online of what other people have tried. We came up with a concoction of three tablespoons of water, one tablespoon, one teaspoon of rubbing alcohol, or you can actually use one of the drying agents, uh, the X-Dry or the Hammer Grip, one teaspoon, and then just under one teaspoon of straight glycerin. The glycerin you can find, you can see mine, I got it right, Aid. You can find it at any pharmacy um that's what creates the sticky part of it and then the very last one you see i have there is x grip that is similar to mighty grip powder i use our glycerin concoction our homemade recipe with one little dab of the powder and that creates a stick that is actually as strong if not stronger than the heel to toe peppermint foot sloughing lotion I have fairly sensitive skin with products. I haven't had any reaction whatsoever, but proceed at your own risk. Um, it's up to you whether or not you wanna try these, but they are working fairly well for me. I use them every single day that I see you guys on video class. So let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you later. Bye.